Welcome and good afternoon to Community of Good Neighbors. I am Pastor Kwame and welcome to another week. How can we pray for you? How can we journey with you? And how can you pray for CGN? Also, happy, happy Black History Month. I hope that you're also enjoying the hashtag Treasures of Darkness African Descent History Month devotional that I have been sharing throughout February. We're at a halfway point. So I hope that you find them insightful. These are devotional pieces and thoughts and even some constructive criticism about our society as a whole, about the issue of race, systemic racism, and even Christian nationalism. And it's written from the point of people of African descent in this particular country, um, from their aspect, from their viewpoint. So I hope you've been enjoying those. I believe we have one for every day. There may be a couple of days we don't have any, and I may have to input um, some new, fresh new ideas. Um, today's, I was especially excited for and forgot about my uh, fellow colleague, uh, Pastor Yolanda, who wrote that one for me, um, all about black and being beautiful. It is important because I think um, one of the things, I, as I've talked about before, this pandemic has opened up a lot. A lot of Pandora's boxes, it's opened up a lot of layers of our community where we realize that people perhaps are not being treated the way we are, we sh they should be. Um, and those rose colored color glasses have really been ripped off. And so one thing I think people need to be aware of is that who we are in, in our skin as people of African descent has not always been welcomed. Um, and so to celebrate our blackness, being proud of our skin tone, our heritage, our our siblings across the way, all these things, who the creator made us to be. Um, so those things are like really, really important. So I hope you continue to enjoy the devotional and I'd love to hear your feedback as well. Also, I will continue to be supply preaching at Reformation in Rochester. So it's just about an hour away from here. If you'd like to join in on the service, there is a Zoom um, capability and you can email me at infocgnbuffalo at gmail.com. If you'd like to be added to that list so you can join in for worship. Worship is in person both and online. So if you can't get there to Rochester, if you're not in the Rochester area, definitely hook on to the Zoom. We will have a special guest on Wednesday joining us for not only for worship, which is Wednesdays in the Wild, midweek Wednesday worship with CGN, but also for our mobile food pantry. And I am hoping, I am praying, <laughs> we have been praying uh, quite a while for good weather to um, appear so that the parking lot that has it looks like either Tatooine or it looks like it looks like Alaska one of the two I know two different worlds one based in sci-fi one based in reality but still that the landscape of what it looks like right now over there at 3 Doe Street is interesting so I'm hoping that most of the majority of the snow has melted if it has then we can get back over there and continue to do what we always do I'm thankful to have the banners to talk about winter hours because I think that's something definitely I'm going to be implementing come winter, that I'm going to move all of our operations to um, to 1092 so people come there because um, winter is probably going to be, as I find, it's going to be probably our downtime, just like the summertime is most churches' downtime. You know, we've done confirmation, we've done Easter, schools let out. That's usually downtime for them that's probably going to be downtime for CGM because spring and summer and fall are going to be our up times. We're going to be moving a group and doing a lot of things outside. Um, so there's that piece. Um, as we go through Black History Month, um, one of the things that I am also very aware of that we need more discussion on is critical race theory. That may be a trigger word for some people, but it really is the width and breadth of who we are as people of the African diaspora and some of the things that have impacted us and why we need to have this conversation in this country. If this country is ever, 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 this country needs to own up to the fact that the systems that were built were built on racism and classism, um, that enslavement indeed is a sin, it is America's original sin, and that their systems were also built for us to fail 
to keep us underneath. People can say, well, but we've had this, that, and the other, but these are rarities. The successes sometimes that you see are rarities. They're not the norm. And so the stories that you hear, whether it be through social media or any type of media, the everyday person struggles with being faced with racism and classism, sometimes sexism, um, and even if you're a part of the LGBTQIA plus community, you're faced with that discrimination too as well. And that's why critical race theory is so important. And I think we need to have a conversation as people of faith about critical race theory um, on that sort of spiritual level and a faith level. We really do. Um, because if we claim to be people of faith and we claim to love creator, that means we also are, we are, we must adhere to also loving one another as creator loves us. And if we don't love one another as creator loves us, then we've got a whole problem. So probably in April and May and June, we're going to be having some more conversations about critical race theory. Um, be looking for more devotional uh, book discussion pieces as we begin Lent in March with our book, We Cry Justice. They're very important. If you have not gotten the book, and you, if you have not gotten the book, get the book. If you don't have time to join us, which is completely understandable, um, then get the book and read it anyway. And then go back to the scriptures as they point to. And maybe start conversations, book discussions in your own congregation. We're grateful and very thankful for all of our volunteers who have reached out, who have dropped things off, and who are waiting for the snow to finally melt, the weather to get a little warmer so we can go back and do what we do best. But there's so much more that we plan on doing. So I'm looking forward to, I'm looking forward to the spring, and I hope you are too. Don't forget to join us for Wednesdays for worship. If you know of anyone who is in need of food, please contact us at infocgn buffalo at gmail.com they're more than welcome to come by on wednesday and pick up a care grocery package i hope you also enjoyed our video from our partners oasis community on seven up cake <laughs> for our cooking sustainability we will have videos um once a week on sundays afternoons at one o'clock um another item that comes out of our our care grocery bags and share with you about so what do we do with this how do we cook sustainability Thank you so much for joining me here for this Monday check-in. I look forward to seeing and working with you all very soon. Peace.